Hey guys, this is Faisal Afke Pathan from Patch Lack Engineers. So today we'll be talking about an on-field PLC project that I have been working in my lockdown routine as well as we'll be having a Q&A with an expert in this field, in the automation field. So with that being said, let's get started. So guys, first off, let's talk about the description of what exactly this project is. So that is, here it is, the description of the project. Um, as you can see guys, there are four number of pumps that will be operating in sequence and these pumps will be connected to PLC and will be controlled using VFDs that are variable frequency drives and pressure sensors are um, you know connected to them uh, so that the pressure sensors can monitor the pressure and the pumps can uh, work accordingly so this is what the description is but I want this description to be elaborated from an expert point of view so I will be inviting one of the experts that I have that have been working in this field for like two plus years. He has been working as a project engineer in three phase technical services in Dubai in UAE. And I have been known him personally for like three years. So I can't wait him to join us in this video. Let's get down to it guys. So guys we have been connected with Miraj Bia. Assalamualaikum Miraj Bia. As, as I have mentioned guys, he has been an expertise in automation, switchgear and electrical audit for past two years and has been working in Dubai, UAE. So with that being said, let's start a Q&A. Uh, Miraj, the first question is from, from an expert's point of view, uh, what is like basically the description of this pressure pump operation using PLC? Okay, so this is the uh, pressure pump operation using PLC. This pressure pump operation is using PLC. This pressure pump operation which you are working on is basically a 30 floor building with three basement and one ground floor in which uh, we are supplying the water up to the 30th floor through four pumps okay and in that the first one will be the duty one and which will be maintaining the 3.5 to 4.5 bar pressure okay okay and if so, and the remaining second third and fourth will be on standby mode if in case the first one fails to maintain the pressure in between 3.5 to 4.5 bar so the very immediately the PLC will give the command to the second pump to start and the both pumps will be in duty and both will try to maintain the pressure and the third and fourth will be uh, in standby mode right right so this cycle will be performing for two hours see huh. the PLC will be giving the command side by side to each and every pump Okay. And like this, the uh, the cycle will be goes on. Okay. Um, so Miraj, uh, that was the uh, proper description. But uh, I want I just wanted to ask that uh, can we be utilizing this kind of programming or this kind of stuff in industrial industry purpose? See, this is a pressure handling uh, pump application, which can be used in uh, hospitals also, in hotel sector, in industrial sector also. Means it depends on the application uh, practical requirement vice versa. We cannot use similar application, similar programming or application in other fields, but it can be this uh, program uh, agenda can be used as per the requirement. It will be very okay. Okay. Um, so, Mirajba, my next question is um, like as per I would say uh, as per the requirement in automation industry. Um, what exactly I would say it is important for an engineer like electrical or electronic engineer it doesn't matter what exactly how much exactly it is important um, to learn PLC or to learn PLC or SCADA stuff basically I, I would suggest like for people whether either it is a technician or either it is an engineer diploma or PE I mean whatever he or she if it depends on the field they which one they want to choose if they want to go in maintenance department of agriculture then it's must and mandatory they should have the knowledge about PLC not only programming but also hardware exactly um, so Milagra, this is my final question and uh, I would say it, it is most important question for me um, uh, have you been following batch like engineers and what is your review about batch like engineers <laughs> batch like engineers previously as I told you previously also I am not aware about this YouTube uh, channel now only came to know that my colleagues or juniors are performing such kind of activities I thought it's very useful for our young generation and the upcoming generation because in our case we don't used to have such kind of facilities from which we can learn the PLC or SCADA or any engineering point of view uh, aspects so I would, I would like to suggest to each and every guy who is doing engineering or any technician first 
follow your channel or any kind of channel. Which can provide such kind of detailed knowledge for us. Okay, thank you, Miraj. Um, okay, I wanted a favor from you. Um, there are like many questions other than automation in Switchgate or in Audit. So, I would be just suggesting the viewers of my channel um, to comment or I would say to reply to my story whether their questions, their technical questions. So, guys, if you want other questions that uh, that you would be answered by Miraj Bia, comment down below or suggest me in, or drop me them in my inbox. So, Miraj Bia, we will answer that in another QA. So, Miraj Bia, inshallah, you will answer the next question. Not only for the energy audit or automation, the, the, our people can ask from low voltage to extra high, ultra high voltage. They can free to ask me any kind of question related to electrical. Okay, Miraj Bia, thank you for your time. And uh, I, I can't wait to post this video, guys. So, guys, if you want to ask Miraj Bia questions, drop them in my comment section or drop them in my, on my story. So, Guys, let's hop into the programming. So guys, that was the description and that was the Q&A from Mirage Bia's part. So let's get down towards the ladder diagram programming that will be required for this operation. So here we will be using Logic Pro software and we will be using Intro Output Simulator. Um, the reason we are using this one software is I would just tell you to talk to you in I would say just a sec. But before that, uh, I would like to say this, uh, this project is kind of big and uh, it has a lot of ladder diagram coding in it. So we will be just doing this in parts. So in this part, we will be just talking about um, how to start the pump and operate it with the timers. And then uh, you can just have them in sequence like from pump 1 to pump 4. So before that, let me just show you what exactly or how exactly this would be working. As you can see guys, there are pump 1 to pump 4s right here and they are connected to timers. Each of them is connected to our timer and um, these LEDs would be our pumps as we don't have an actual pump right here. And these are the switches that will be controlling these pumps. Um, so let's upload this code and I will show you how this works. Uh, after uploading it and uh, running it, I would just first make all those let's say and see. So as you can see guys this pump will when I click start this timer will tick towards 60 seconds as this is because um, yeah in the description it said that you have to uh, work this timer for 2 hours but for 60 seconds uh, I am doing this because I don't want to just wait for 2 hours so you can just add 2 hours right here um, so let's start as you can see guys the time pump 1 is operating as the timer 1 is ticking and after 60 seconds timer Two is taking and the pump two is on and after 60 seconds the pump three will be on uh, for 60 seconds so as you can see guys then the pump three is on and later on i would say pump four will be on so this is how this plc would work or this is all the operation um so let's start with the scratch code i would say let's start from the beginning so guys let's start off with the programming of the pump operation so we'll be using the basic start and stop of the pump um, if you are having familiar with this LiDAR diagram, I would suggest you guys check my previous IDTV on Logic Pro. And uh, after that, we'll be just adding the most important component that is the timer. Um, uh, yeah, we will have we are having like timer on, timer off, and retentive timer right here. So yeah, we'll be choosing timer on. And apart from that, we just need to write timer four colon zero. Uh, that will set us a timer zero, or um, you can just write it. Um, as you want like there are from timer 0 to timer 225 so you can choose from these timers and um, preset value is the time uh, that which the timer will be ticking after that we'll be needing some bits we'll be needing um, enable bit disable bit and uh, enable bit done bit and ticking bit uh, for the timers to work so i will just naming this as a timer 4.0 as enable bit um, after that i'll be just taking it and naming it as timer timing bit that is just by doing like this this is the timer timing bit and i will be setting in pump right here so this pump will be on when the timer timing bit will be high i would say it would be on so this bit uh, so the pump will be on and um, i would be just taking this examine if closed and i would be just going for timer and zero slash done bit and i will be just adding another timer um, this will be for pump 2 operation and i will be just adding it right here um, as i mentioned before you can choose any timer from timer 1 or timer 0 to timer 225 and choose your time preset value as per your need and um, yeah we will be adding pump 2 right here 
and I would be just naming it pump2 and I'll be just taking this um, right here and dragging and dropping it right here and just like the simple circuit for like action in the whole circuit we'll be just doing this just like that so the I would say now we'll be just adding bits for the timer 2 or timer 1 I would say uh, as per your labeling your bits will be changing so I'll be just adding timer 4 colon 6 timer 4 colon 1 slash enable and um, another bit will be timer 4 colon 0 sorry sorry 1 timer ticking now twist timer 4 colon 1 slash timer timing bit okay and I'll be just adding an output right here just like we did for timer 0 we'll be just doing it for timer 1 and uh, after that this PLC uploading this PLC and running it as you can see guys the timer is on for timer 1 is on for 60 seconds and after 60 seconds timer 2 will be on as you can see and pump 2 is on right here so this is how so guys those were some theories and some concepts that were related to the timers and the timing of timing bits so what we'll be doing here is uh, we'll be just taking a bit shortcut right here i just want you guys to copy this branch or this rung and paste it below and i just want you guys to change your timer names like from timer 1 to timer 2 and um, from 60 seconds right here and i just want you guys to take any of this output led and just drag it and drop it right here as you can see right here so i just did this for like uh, making this more convenient and making this um, i would say really easy so you just need you just don't need to write and make errors in your ladder diagram so you can just copy and paste it in the ladder diagrams as these branches in the ladder diagram so let me show you the final ladder diagram what it looks like and this is the way your final ladder diagram would be looking like um, i have just made all the timers on the top view and uh, all the branches that are uh, all the branches and all the bits that are required for making the timers enable making the timers picking all the timers right from the timer 0 to timer 3 uh, i have just made them um, right here in the, in the below section you can just go uh, above if you want you can just go from like timer 1 and its bits timer 2 and its bits it's for as per your requirement so guys let me download this plc and let me show you how this works okay so for like 60 seconds the pump 1 is on and uh, after 60 seconds pump 2 will be on and after 60 seconds pump 3 and so on this is the sequence so i just did this for the purpose just to demonstrate how this operation works so you can just change the values of 60 seconds for like uh, as mentioned in this description for like 2 hours and change the sequence if you want to it's as per your application as per your need so that is that's it for this series guys so i would be just making in part 2 um, for the required description and for the required pressures and all those stuff in the part 2 and uh, if you guys like this kind of video and if you think that uh, okay this is great give me a like and if you want any have if you guys have any suggestions drop them in my comments you can dm me directly on instagram you can drop those section i would say drop those suggestions in my instagram stories that's it for me today see you next time guys thank you